Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about the decline in comic book media. We're gonna talk about the decline in pop culture media. Uh, just basically talking about everything declining and we've got people working in the comic book industry lamenting that uh -huh. decline. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, so let's talk about all of these things. We're gonna talk about the record number of media jobs being cut. We're gonna go back and talk about what happened with uh, CBR, that they basically cut loose comic book writers to hire more movie people. And uh, right before they laid a bunch of people off, the company that owns CBR, they went and bought a video game site. Uh-huh. Because comics don't matter. That, right, they don't matter. And the pop culture matters. And, and I think it's funny because a lot of these authors, these, these journalists in quotes, I've talked about it on Twitter today, they're always going on about how YouTubers are terrible because they're all grifters and they're all clickbait as they clickbait the shit out of things to try to get views because no one cares about them. Yeah, uh, and we've talked about that with CBR. In the case of CBR, they actually get view bonuses, so they do clickbait intentionally because that's the only way they're going to make anything. They only pay them like 3 to $5 an article, as I understand I it. I don't know. I don't know what they pay. It's, but... it's pretty bad, and they've cut that. I think they've cut that. So we're going to talk about all of this. Uh, this is the one big unified theory of everything. It's like, congratulations, guys. There's no money in any end of it. Whether it's comics or whether it's a comic book medium, why would anybody cover an industry that doesn't make money? It's almost as if they killed the industry and now they can't get coverage for it. What? No, you what? don't say. Oh my God. So we have Gail here. Gail tried to get into it with me once and got ratioed hard. Anyway, she has me blocked. I've never talked to her. Marketing and comics right now is a mess. The discourse is mostly yelling. I wonder why. Why? Sometimes the people yelling don't even read comics. That... You, no, but you, no, wait, but here's what gets me. A lot of people that have been on Twitter and going on about how they're, you know, this and that in comics and, and all that shit and, and movies and all that, weren't even fans of the things they yelled about. I, I, could, I could argue effectively that some of the people who make comics now have never read comics. Right. They just, like, got hired because they were working in, like, YA or something. Right. You know? There are far fewer news sites and message boards than pa years past, right? Because there was no money in it because you hired activists and not journalists. And then just like the comic industry, they ch they ruined their own industry. Yes. Marketing teams prioritize their big news. Oh, it's almost like they want clicks so they can make money. Who would have thunk it? That leaves you to do it. And they're so good at that. Right, because, they're you know, so when you're that. on Twitter all the time screaming at everyone, telling them, don't buy my book if you don't like my political hot takes, and then they don't, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? Yeah, I mean, it is good advice to market yourself, but the reason you're left with marketing yourself is that all the uh, the outlets have have dried up. And we're going to talk about it. This is before a lot of layoffs occurred. I mean, we had, we saw Newsarama get absorbed into a video game site. We saw multiple comic book sites get shut down due to a lack of interest and a lack of ad revenue. And that's because there's a lack of interest in the Western comic book market. Right. And you had right what audience you had. You told me you didn't want. Like this one Michael person says, I love the passive language regarding the news sites and message boards as if her friends take them over and purge them of wrong think, helping to send the entire industry into a shrinking purity spiral. Yes, that's what happened. You're not selling books because the audience you had, you didn't want. You put you and your friends in to be all activists and, and all this stuff. She made changes and it made no sense. You know, for these people that supposedly read comics that didn't read comics, yeah, you just you fucked yourself over, and then you're acting like somebody. Oh, well, we need you need to market yourself. Yeah, no shit. So let's um let's talk about this a little bit more before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Pop culture news, views, and rants. We actually do have clownfishtv.com, and we do post comic book stories over there. But golly gee, some of these people wouldn't want to be associated with that website, would mm -hmm. they? So. What kind of kicked this off was I came across this article on Axios talking about the record number of media jobs cut so far in 2023. And, and we talked a little bit about CBR, which used to be comic book resources and then became just CBR.com, uh, a part of the Valnet machine. And that's been getting a lot of discussion because that was like one of the last outlets left that still covered Western comics. And it looks like they're going to pivot away from that. But this year has been awful. 2023, 17,000 media jobs have been cut. That's a record. Before that barely, was, but it is. Yeah. Barely. Before that was during the pandemic. It really happened to the year. 
Yes. That's a, that's a whole year. We're that's only the halfway year. through and we aren't even done yet, guys. There's more cuts coming. Uh, lots of video game sites getting shut down. Waypoint now, again, this is going to you know dovetail very nicely with what's going on in comics right now. Waypoint was run by Vice. There's another one run by the Washington Post. They shut that one down too. This is the one that their, their sign-off for their podcast was fuck capitalism and go home. Well, guess what? You got fucked over by capitalism. You didn't love money enough. Well, a lot of these people that complain about comics, they, they will all want socialism. They want socialism. They should be able to, to spew their, their opinions and their thoughts all over the place. And if it doesn't make money, they should still get a platform anyway because they're that. Well, they're kind of, they kind of had socialism for a while because a lot of these comic book companies were bankrolled by venture capital and by money coming from movies and other, other platforms, you know, like in the case of Disney and, and, and uh, Warner Brothers, you know, bankrolling Marvel and DC, like if the movies weren't performing or the theme parks weren't performing or whatever, you wouldn't be making comic books. So it is kind of a form of socialism where the, the comics don't really have to pay for themselves. They're just they kind do of, now. They, they, they do now. And you're starting to see what's going on here. So that kind of brings us to, well, companies like IDW. Uh, I just saw this. Today, IDW lost another $200,000. Uh, that's in the grand scheme of things. That's not a lot of money. That's pocket change for most companies. But again, we're dealing with the Western comic book industry, which has been decimated where, you know, $50,000 can make or break you. Yeah. yeah, it's like two hundred thousand dollars is less than uh, uh, a lot of people make as a, a annual salary, and they're like, "Oh my God, IDW lost two hundred thousand dollars." That's like, that's like two hundred freelancers that are going to be out of work now <laughs> because yeah. they lost. You know what I'm saying? But this company is like bleeding out money. So now, you know, of course, we have that hashtag going around: "Comics broke me." No, you you broke comics first, and now you're broke. But not just that, you went in. But knowing the truth, but pretending that it didn't exist, thinking right, it was going to be different right. for you. And then you're yelling and screaming about it now um, is what's going on. So let's um, talk about this. This actually came from uh, Draw and Talk, which is uh, Tyler SeaWorld. Apparently, got this guy got canceled for pointing out the obvious that uh, the Everything comic... we said. Yeah, the comic book industry is broken. And here's the thing. A couple of years ago, you were allowed to say this. There were actually comic book journalists that were writing articles all the time. Heidi McDonald was actually one of them. She was writing articles like, hey, maybe we need to stop talking about team comics because let's be real, not everybody's going to make it. Here's an article talking about how little people are making in the comic book industry. We've Look, seen article after article yeah, on this. Yeah, on the beat. Yeah, I don't know if they're still there or not. Maybe she's purged them now, but they had one where, hey, this, this uh, woman... Uh, was only making $10,000 a year as an award-winning graphic novelist, and she has to quit and go do something else. You know, comics, you may love comics, but comics don't love you back. Several stories People like this. People recently like, oh, I got a book deal, but I, I, had, I had like a really small advance and I had to work three or four years to get the book done. It's like, you know, like we told, we've been saying about it since we did videos and we had a podcast prior to this, and yeah. we talked about it on that too. Yeah. So, so that's what, how many years, at least seven years ago. So uh, Tyler here is not used to being on the receiving end of, of this. And I'm very sorry you're going through this, uh, Tyler. You will be better off because here's the thing. What are they threatening you with? They're threatening you with blacklisting you from an industry that creates poor people. Mm -hmm. And like, hates you. And hates you and for stresses question. you out and causes you medical problems and all this. They're doing you a favor by blacklisting you from this industry. You literally can go work retail or Lowe's or whatever and, and probably have a better quality of life than working for a company like IDW, current year. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm just saying. Now, I'm not talking, you know, top shelf Marvel DC creators. Again, those guys and gals are making, you know, significantly more money. But the majority of comic book creators working in the industry as it is right now are not making very much money. Right. So let's let's go back out to CBR. Because this was uh, Popverse, which is uh, what Graham McMillan, who's been covering this situation with them. And if you remember, they just suddenly laid a bunch of people off. They mm -hmm. laid off the gutted management, they gutted editorial, and they said they were going to change their culture, mm -hmm. right? That what, what, Whatever that means, whatever that means, right? So they have more information on it. They said basically it was about views. Oh, shocker. It was about views. Um, here's what happened. This is the Memorial Day Massacre is what they were calling it. Comic book resources. Now, I could argue comic book resources stopped being about comic books as soon as Jonah Weiland sold it mm -hmm. back in, it was like 2015, 2016, sold it to Valnet, and then they just called it CBR. Now, they still covered comics, but they rolled in a lot of other you know movie news and clickbait and shit like that in there. But um, they said Popverse has been given to understand that days prior to having 
uh, laying off the three CBR editors. Valnet also laid off the HR team, right? Um, oh, because you're the ones that hired the dumbasses. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. But, I can think of a few writers who are still on there. It shouldn't be. But, but, anyway. but uh, you know, just asking around, they said it's about clicks. It, there wasn't. A, it was about clicks. It was about the fact that the revenue wasn't coming in and these people were asking for more money. And they basically got fired because they're like, we can't give you more money. We can't give you more money. And they were all starting to complain. Honestly, Valnet was probably looking at that like, ah, shit, they're going to unionize or something. Mm -hmm. And we can't have that. So let's just get rid of these people. But they said they wanted to turn the corner on both culture and performance. It implicitly is a reference to the plan to simultaneously reduce workload offered to contract writers while lowering pay-per-view rates. They basically just want, uh, they want more views. They need more views, right? They said that, Oh my God, 20 stories per day, per day from some contributors. God, that's insane. So nobody's saying anything about it. They're still hiring people. They're hiring people to write movie and TV show articles. They're not hiring comic book writers. Well, yeah, comic book was never, hasn't been bringing it for a while. Yeah, which I thought was very, very interesting. Um, and nobody else brought this up, so I'm going to bring it up. Like a couple of days before they fired everybody at Comic Book Resources, Valnet dropped a bunch of money to buy a, a video game site. So it wasn't because Valnet had no money. It yep. was just because that branch wasn't bringing what they needed to bring. Comic books don't bring views. Comic book news. Well, they have a lot news. of things on there besides comic books, though. Right. But, the, you know, it's just I think they're going to probably change the entire trajectory of this website. Ad rates are down. Yeah. We can talk. We can talk about that. Like, look, now is not a time to ask your boss for a raise. I'm just going to tell you right out of the gate. If you're, if you're working in digital journalism right now, I guarantee you, your bosses, whatever company it is, they're freaking the hell out right now about the, the ad rates. Cause well, I can, a quarter about, or they're about less? a quarter or less than what they were just a year or two ago. Like, I am not kidding you. And I know what networks these sites are in, these ad networks. And I know what the rates are like right now. And they are probably having to, you know, reach into the coffers to pay what if they're giving you $3 an article. They're probably having to reach into the coffers to pay you that. Before we did, YouTube. We spent years doing websites. You worked on companies doing websites, working with ad networks. You helped work with that. That were part of that net networks that sold to yes. websites. Yep. You helped place ads. So we know you're from an ad agency too. So we have a background in this kind of stuff. So we know what we're talking about. It's not like there's panic because we, oh, in this year, 10 years ago, this happened. No, we've been around for a long time. This is not good. No, this is, I, I can tell you in the 15 plus years, we have been running websites, different kinds of websites, different niches. You know, some of them we talk about, some of them we don't talk about. In the 15 plus years we've been doing this, the ad rates are the absolute lowest they've ever been. And in fact, I, I was sharing with a couple of our writers. And I'm like, and I wasn't being threatening or, at all. I was just like, guys, just so you know, like this is where we're at right now. It's not good. I mean, it's really, really not good. So we have other revenue streams. These websites do not base and they can't reach into to venture capital now to bail their asses mm -hmm. out either. Now, what could have happened theoretically with Valnet buying this, this site is because so many video game sites are shutting down. They got it dirt cheap. Right. Or that was in the play before they 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 panicked and fired people. Right. But it's, it's very telling that they're willing to spend money to buy another website in another niche. But they're getting rid of their comic mm -hmm. book people and they're hiring they're hiring movie and TV people, but they're not hiring anybody to cover comics. The reality is, is when, you know, your typical comic book sells under 10,000 copies a month, how many people do you really think are interested in reading about comics? Right. And oh, our marketing is gone. You got right. Your marketing has been in decline for years, but it's in decline because no one's reading the articles about comics because you guys killed the, mar the comic industry to begin with. If there was a comic industry that was healthy and people wanted to, to know more, they would go find a site and learn more. I can tell you for a fact, unless we're calling bullshit on the comic book industry, those other videos don't get many hits. They don't. Um, because you're, you're like, well, we don't have marketing, but you did it to yourself. Like, if there's a healthy industry, there's there, the marketing will come to you. There isn't. People have to be interested in what you're selling. They, they have to be it. actively looking for information. Now, people are interested in K-drama. They're interested, very, very interested in manga and anime. They're interested in webtoons. They're not interested in Western comics unless it and they're ties. they're not your hot takes, for no, sure. they're not your hot takes. And unless it it's something just so laughably bad. And I'm starting to wonder, is that like the master plan? The reason that these you know, Marvel and DC are making some of these ridiculous decisions they make, is it to get headlines just because they can't get headlines any other way? Like, oh, okay, well, 
CNN will pick this up because it's ridiculous to have this character do this thing or whatever, or, or you know, these right-wing uh, news outlets will run with it because it's going to piss them off, but at least it's press and people will buy the comic just to check out, oh, gay Superman, they're going to check that out just to riff on it, mm -hmm. right? But, and other media just runs with it because they know they'll get clicks for, you know, oh, people will click on it because be like, wait, what? Yeah, you know, yeah. and then people don't read comics like you want to point out on both sides are like, wait, they made Superman gay. Why? You know, that'll get people to interest. That's the only way that people get hits on this stuff. They get hits on, you know, stories related to the movies, you know, the video games, the, the cartoons, pretty much anything but comics themselves, which is why Newsarama, which was one of the biggest comic book news sites, got eaten by a video game site. But again, why is this, why is this happening? Because you killed the industry in the last several years. Uh, I mean, it's been in decline, but you completely fucked up the last few years. The last five years in particular, there is a very lengthy record of this. You can go back and check and see all the poor decisions being made. Uh, yeah, I said ten, about five to ten years. And uh, there it is. Now you have to contend with this is the industry you wanted. You chased out all the chuds. You chased Not out all the wanted. bigots. They took their money with them. And this is you what told you told them not to buy your comics. Told them not so literally. They didn't. Told them not to buy your comics if, if they don't like your politics. That was a mantra for a while, right? We don't want we don't want Nazi money. We don't want Nazi gold. You, and these you guys, didn't sign our, our manifesto to show everybody anti rape that you, yep. manifesto. Did you sign the paper that you wouldn't rape people? Well, then you don't get to be in our club. Oh my God, our club that pays less than oh, three thousand yeah. dollars a month. Whisper networks and all that. Hot damn, you did such a great job. You just completely destroyed it. Good job. So congratulations. This is what you got. You got nothing. You get nothing. It's kind of like Willy Wonka, where he's mm -hmm. like. You know, congratulations, you get nothing. Good day, sir and ma'am. That is it. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, there's not going to be any comic book news sites left other than those that are run by fans because there's no money in it. There will not be money in it. And the Western comic book industry, as we know it currently, as we know it now, uh, is dead. It, it's, it's never going to come back. I mean, it might be transformed into something else, but there you go. There it is. That's why you can't get anybody to cover your shit. Yay. Congratulations, Go you get. got what you wanted. Now, you can buy an ad on clownfishtv.com. We're not cheap. I don't know if a lot of you can afford us, but if you want to reach out, you're more than welcome to. There you go. There you go. We'll take your we'll take your money. We'll mm -hmm. take your money. All right. I'm going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.